Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here and we are about to feed our orchid mantis for our first Friday feeding. Let's take a look at our enclosure before we actually start the feeding. We'll start from the top. On the underside of the, the top, you can see that we have sewn some uh, nylon window screening in using the ventilation holes to anchor it. And that provides a nice secure molting platform. They really, mantids really need a secure molting platform while they're immature and she's got a couple molts to go before she matures. So uh, we wanted to make sure it was pretty solid. She can grip the plastic, but when they're molting, you don't want to take any chances. And as you can see, she uh, favors this uh, as, a, as a perch, which is nice. We just went to the hobby store and bought these uh, plants that look quite a bit like she does. It's kind of fun. And then we just cut them down to size, wrapped the tip in plastic because we didn't want any metal interacting with the substrate because there, there are wires inside. We just didn't want to take any chances, so we wrapped those in plastic wrap on the bottom. We've got cocoa fiber here, and there are some springtails in there. The cocoa fiber is to provide humidity as well as kind of a bioactive substrate for the the springtails. We'll probably put some isopods in there at some point as well. So this is not going to be the enclosure when she's an adult. She'll need something a little bigger probably, but this works just fine for now. We've only had her since yesterday. She was from Peter at Bugs in Cyberspace. And you can check out Peter's video. I'll put a link so you can check out his recent video on orchid mantises and also check out our video on orchid mantises. We link to each other's videos, so whichever one you check, it doesn't matter, we'll get, you'll get to both of them. You'll be able to, so let's see. I'm just trying to get this, this fly, which I put in the freezer long enough to kind of slow it down. And once it wakes up, we'll see if she'll eat it. So last time I put a fly in here, she had eaten it within about two seconds of me putting it in. This one hopefully, well, it's already going to take longer than that. It might take a minute for it to warm up. Look how well she blends in with these uh, artificial flowers. It's pretty incredible. And keep an eye on that fly. As soon as it moves, it'll be all over. And there it goes never ceases to astound me how fast a mantid can be. They're just incredible creatures. Well, as she munches away on that fly, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank our backers at Patreon. You know, this channel wouldn't be what it is without your help, and we really appreciate all of you who help us in whatever way you can. The amount is not as important as the fact that you're helping. And uh, whether or not you're helping us on Patreon, there are lots of other ways to help us. We appreciate just the fact that you're watching these videos. We really appreciate the fact that Peter sent us this beautiful mantis. And I have to say, it's really fun for me that my wife enjoys the mantis just as much as I do. There are some of my creatures, such as the scorpions, um, the tailless whip scorpions, she's not quite as big a fan of. And she thinks the isopods are kind of cute and whatnot. But this one, I think we're on equal footing. We're both really, really enjoying this mantis, something we both wanted to keep for a long time. Well, thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss our next video.